China's birth rate. How effective is the country's two-child policy? And what are the challenges ahead? Hello, I'm Arun Naidu, and this is The Heat. It's now been more than two years since China abandoned its decades-old one-child policy. Since 2016, all Chinese couples are allowed to have two children. But so far, the results have been mixed. Last year, China had 17.2 million live births, according to the National Bureau of Statistics. That number represents a small drop from 2016, when the number of children born in China reached 17.9 million. Despite the change in policy, some families still prefer to have just one child. The reasons include issues like the cost of raising children, uh, housing, childcare, and fewer women of childbearing age. We begin with this report from CGTN's Wei Lin Tang, who talked with two families to find out more. A family of three. This has been a common sight in China for almost four decades now, partly thanks to the country's one child policy implemented back in 1980. Song Yan and his wife Li Ling are in their mid to late 30s. They have a three-year-old daughter and live a comfortable life financially. But even then, they're hesitant to the idea of having a second child. We may not have the strength or ability to take care of a second child. My parents are now old and more energy needs to be spent on them. Also, there aren't many good schools in our area, especially public kindergartens, which we would like to sign her up for. And even if there is, the requirements can be pretty stringent, such as registered residents. What will entice this couple to have a second child? Well, they say government subsidies and improved welfare in education would be nice. And it's these very circumstances of having grown up in a single-child home that's prompted young couples to raise their children with a sense of independence and resilience. We do not think of how we want our kids to take care of us when we are old. When she grows up, it's her own life. We don't need her to return us any favor. Moving on to Yue Lin, a 41-year-old who refers to herself as a strong career woman. Being an ethnic minority, she says she could have had a second child but decided against it, hinting to the lack of a support system from her spouse. But as fate would have it, she had a second daughter, an accidental surprise. She says she has no regrets. There is a need to have a second child. I have a younger sister, and even though we argue, it's a forever companion gift given by our parents. If we have difficulties, my sister and I will help one another. But for my husband, who is a single child, he will not think this way. He will feel that friends are more important than siblings. Having a sibling will bring out the need to learn how to share, Yuelin adds. She believes it's a necessary mindset for children when growing up, as it will benefit them when engaging with society. Her mother agrees that there is a need to have two kids, as China's aging population continues to grow. But the pressure is high. Without the support of the elderly, it is difficult to keep pace of having a second child. I have to give up my retirement life, move to my daughter's home and help take on her burden of caring for the children. The two families we have heard from are just part of China's wider demographic phenomena. But the fact remains, China's fertility rate continues to fall and stands well below the average. Is 2017's fall in newborns a temporary one? Or could it be the start of a new declining trend? Well, it will be interesting to see how authorities look for ways to revitalize the country's population growth. Wei Lin Tang, CGTN, Beijing.